Hello, here's a problem that a lot of companies have. Um, I call it the resource utilization trap. So I'm going to demonstrate this using a ping pong ball um, and a bunch of friends over here. All right, so here's how it works. Uh, this represents a feature or a customer request. And uh, this is a team. And for them to build a feature, uh, everybody has to touch the ball. Actually, it has to pass through all your hands. All right, is that clear? And then when you're done, you just put it here. That's customer delivery. So we're going to demonstrate this. Go. Look at them work. Awesome. Wow. Customer delivery. Cool. Right. Let's do another one. Go. Amazing, amazing team. Cool. And here's another one. Look at that. Awesome. OK, here we go again. Pause. All right. Now, suppose the manager walks in. It's 10.15, the manager walks in, opens the door, and he looks in, and he sees that. OK? And then he walks out again. OK, and we keep going. Play. All right, next thing. Pause. Now the manager comes in again, later on that afternoon, and he happens to see this. And he starts to wonder, what are these guys doing? There's three idle and one working, right? What a waste of resources. So we need to solve this problem. And the way we're going to solve it is by hiring a supervisor. And his job is to make sure that we keep people busy so we get value for our money. All right? So uh, same routine as before. You have to touch every ball with both hands for it to be done, right? This time I'm just going to keep people busy. Ready? Go. Right? There's one for you. Oh, here's a hand that's available. Oh, available resources there. Right? Here's one. Oh. Got to keep people busy. Hey, cool. No, That's great. No, All right. No. Here's another one. Oh, I see a hand there. Okay. Pause. Cool. Now what happens when the manager comes in? What does he see? Problem solved. Look. Everybody's working really hard. It's great. We're getting value for, for the salaries we're paying, right? It's perfect. Uh, except for one problem. The customer is like, where is my stuff? Right? So what just happened? Um, in the first scenario, we had... Um, about maybe 10 to 15 percent resource utilization, right? Only one hand was at work out of the eight, something like that. And the flow time was somewhere in the order of about maybe five seconds, as in how long it, time it took to actually deliver a ball, right? Um, second scenario, we had resource utilization 100 percent, maybe even more, right? And our flow time was, well, infinite. We never actually got anything done. So here we have a happy customer getting stuff delivered. Here we have angry customer getting nothing delivered. So what does this mean? We should just uh, ignore resource utilization um, and only focus on this? Well, not really. Um, it is actually OK to tweak resource utilization, but after we've established our optimum flow. So we're going to look at that. And a really good technique for doing that is called pull. So let's have a look at pull. So here's what we had before, right? First scenario, one ball being passed through, right? Um, this is push because I'm pushing in stuff, right? I'm pushing in another one, there's push, pushing it in. So pull means turning that around and saying instead of me pushing work in, I'm offering work to be pulled. Which means that they can pull stuff whenever they feel they have capacity. They choose how fast to pull stuff in, right? So watch what's going on now. Right, keep going and I'm gonna press pause. Right, so if we look at this now, what actually happened? All right, so what's the difference? Well, more stuff delivered in the same amount of time without sacrificing flow. So let's go back to the board. If we add another column here, throughput, some would call it velocity, we have about uh, 12 or so balls per minute, right? 12 or so balls per minute. In the second round, well, we didn't get anything delivered, so it's zero. In the third round, what actually happened was we had about the same flow through time. We didn't sacrifice any flow time but we improved resource utilization. We got it to maybe about double, right? About maybe 30%. Um, and our actual throughput would be maybe 24 or so balls per minute. Right, so this is what happened. We optimize flow first, and then we optimize resource utilization without sacrificing flow. That's the kind of lean approach. So in summary, a lot of organizations get stuck because they focus way too much on resource utilization, keeping people busy. And if you focus on keeping people busy, what you get is a bunch of busy people. Uh, the lean approach is focus on flow primarily 
and then resource utilization secondary. And one way to do that is through pull. 100% resource utilization equals 0% flow. So think about that next time you're stuck in a traffic jam because the road system is 100% utilized. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this video. Hope it was interesting. And we got a bunch of other similar cool videos on our YouTube channel. And you can also check out our stuff on the blog. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.